And he responded, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> done. I am so done. There's that saying, when God closes one door, he opens a window or something, or he opens another door. Yeah, I believe that. I know that God is not going to leave us high and dry, and he hasn't, we're blessed. But at the same time, it's like, there's just been a lot of closed doors lately. Isn't that just a lovely sky? Not the power lines, that's not lovely. But that over there is. Sort of. No, it is. Hey guys! Happy evening to you. <laughs> it is later in the day. I just wanted to say hey to you. We are meeting a girl I know to give her those paintings. I'm sad to see the big one go. I worked so hard on it and I had to redo it twice. So like I feel like, I really feel like it's my baby. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So that's what we're doing right now. We're, we're having a drop off. I will give her money because she paid for shipping for the little one. And then she will give me money for the big one. It's a great, great handoff. Very exciting. How's your day going? What have y'all been up to on this lovely Thursday? Where are we meeting? Um, Grace, daycare, right here with the well. With the well. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this. That's where she is right now. She's in a Bible study, apparently. She used to work here. I don't know if she works here still. But anyway, fun fact. The person who owns this daycare now and runs it was actually my boss four years ago at a daycare that I used to work at here in town. And he left that daycare and opened up his own. And here this is. I've considered working here because I was very close to him. Got to wrap up. Okay, perfect. Back to wrap up. This is great. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. What's up, guys? We're back home. That went well. I want to tell you about something. I want to tell you something funny that happened, though. We were on the way there, and my wife was like, "I don't know where my five dollar bill went," because first off, you had to you have to preface. Brooke paid five dollars shipping when we can just see her because she goes to church with us. Yeah. So we were like, okay, Brooke, we'll just give you $5.50 back. Mm -hmm. So no big deal. <laughs> we go uh, to give her the painting, and she's like, oh, I don't know where my $5 is. And I'm like, oh, I put it, okay. I put it in my pocket last night because I thought I was giving her the painting last night. So I put the 5 in my pocket. Then today, when we were about to leave, I got my jeans, and I, you know, went to look in the pocket. It was gone. It was gone. It was like, we had to find a 5. So we were on the way there, and I was like, well, I'll just stop at a gas station and use cash back and get her to do it with like a five, five, and a ten. So I did that. So we get there, hand the paintings off, talk to Brooke for a second. Everything's great. No problem. Anna gets back in the car, and she sits down on a $5 bill. And then she pulls the other $5 bill we just got from somewhere else, and then she's looking at, like, she's got a five, five, and a ten, but yet she just gave her... So we're just like, well, what did we give her? What did you give her? I hope I gave her a five, <laughs> cause that's how much I owe her. Brooke, leave a comment down below and tell us. I'm kidding. I don't think she watches these. Uh, what is funny though is what would be hilarious is if you did give her the new five, and you sat down on the old five and it fell out of your pocket into the car. Huh? The the five that we lost last night, it yeah. was actually just sitting in the car in, in your that's seat. That's what I'm saying. It was. You think that's I what think happened? That's, that was the five. I just don't know how I didn't see it when we got in the car the first time. Yeah, no. Treat I'm usually good at spotting money. Not as good as you are at spending it. No! Whew. I'm just gonna have a seat, guys, and just talk to you for a minute. Today was a little stressful. Ugh. I've been in cahoots with this company trying to get um, a part-time gig with them, I guess, as a contractor. Not as a real job. Just as a contractor, freelancer, like I always do. But they wanted to guarantee me 20 hours a week. 20 hours of work a week and uh, pay me a certain amount for it. And it was gonna be pretty awesome, almost perfect. I mean, it would have been a lot of money that uh, we would have been able to just guarantee there's gonna be there for the next six months. And everything was going well. Like, they interviewed with me. Uh, they said that they were really impressed. They gave me some code to mess with on my own, uh, just to kind of prove to them my coding skills. It was for a JavaScript position. So it went well, and everything was going well. They gave me this code to work with, and I was pretty excited about it. And then uh, I'm going through a contracting company that like hires out 
their contractors to do it so like they picked me up and said hey we have someone who needs this can you do it and I was like yeah so anyway so they emailed the company and said hey you realize that Randy is gonna like be doing this part-time right like he's not a full-time hire contractor and they responded I don't know what they said but that guy then called me and he's like I said from the hiring agency or whatever and he said hey, they, they actually need someone in there a little longer than just 20 hours a week. They need 30 hours a week. And I was at first just like, oh, man, that's a lot of time per week to do things. And, and you may be thinking, like, not really. I work 40 hours a week just like any other person. Or so you may even work more than that. Or, But the thing is, is that as far as devoting my time to one project, I have multiple projects going on all the time. And I devote a lot of different times to them. I love that. It's flexibility. I just I just love that. I crave that. And to devote 75% of my week to one project, that's a bit rough. Which, it's fine when the project pays really well and I get to work on it the way I want to. Which is what it sounded like it was going to happen. Then I asked him this. I was like, hey, do I need to be on site for the job? Which means I have to go into their office to work. And he responded, yeah. Yeah, you do done i am so done i'm sorry but i'm a freelancer like i this is where i work right there i work right there or i work in a coffee shop or if i have to i work on vacation wherever i'm at i work wherever i want that's why i'm a freelancer i'm not giving that up i'm sorry like i don't care how much they're willing to pay me which is a good amount but i just no it's not worth it to me my freedom is worth so much more in my opinion, uh, I love this quote from Casey Neistat that he says. He says, I'm not a rich man, but I am free. I like that. Anyway, it's been a rough day because I, I really wanted to have that worked out. It, it would have been really nice. But, you know, uh, I just I feel like there's that saying when God closes one door, he opens a window or something or he opens another door. Yeah, I believe that. I know that God is not going to leave us high and dry, and he hasn't, and we're blessed. But at the same time, it's like, there's just been a lot of closed doors lately. A lot of different projects have fallen through. Uh, it just kind of makes me sad. It's good, though. I just, I know that it's going to be that much better when we see what the ultimate plan is. Because I know there is one. It's a good plan, too. So, I'm excited. Anyway, that's how things are going today three days until our shirts are no longer available. Ugh, it's ridiculous. So go buy a shirt, please. Link's in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. We'll talk to you guys soon. We love you guys. Enjoy your ride. God bless.